Hello everyone, D23 Gaming here, and welcome back to another Mindtest video. Exciting news, a brand new version of Mindtest was released yesterday. It is the version 5.7.0, and this update comes with a whole bunch of performance improvements, as well as the new Bloom and Dynamic Exposure feature. And when this update releases for Android, we'll finally get the option to enable Crosshair, so no more workarounds in the config file. Now just a quick disclaimer, these new visual features will not be available for Android because Android uses a completely different rendering pipeline from PC. Android uses OpenGL ES, while PC uses OpenGL. So there are some minor similarities, however they are different enough to cause compatibility issues. Firstly, let's talk about the improvements to performance. Mindtest is well known for being able to run on old hardware, however not much attention has been given to high-end hardware until now. And I must say, I have been feeling the game not being as fast as it should be with the RTX 3050 and the 11th gen i5 processor. So hopefully, people with higher end PCs and laptops will feel the actual benefits from having better hardware. Now for the new Bloom and Dynamic Exposure feature. Bloom is a computer graphics effect used in video games to reproduce an imaging artifact of real world cameras. The effect produces fringes of light extending from the borders of bright areas in an image, contributing to the illusion of an extremely bright light overwhelming the camera or eye capturing the scene. Dynamic exposure is the effect of the camera adjusting its exposure going from the well-lit areas, like the outdoors, to a dark interior of a building. This also works the other way around. These new features will work alongside dynamic shadows to bring your mind test worlds to life. So yes, I'm really excited for what the developers come up with in the next update. Performance optimization is always welcome, as it makes the game more accessible to people with all kinds of hardware. If you want to read the full changelog, I'll leave a link in the description. So go and check it out if you are a modder, or just curious about the technicalities of it all. So that's all the news I have for you today. Get crafting, get building, and I'll see you all later.